What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to this testing ground video right here. Testing once and for all how much better are medium weapons compared to light weapons in War Robots, and are there occasions where the light weapons are even better than their medium equivalents? Yes, there are, and this is really surprising. So, in this video, guys, let me tell you five minutes of gameplay took me more than five hours to make because I, I wanted to make it as best and accurate as possible with giving you all the values for it. We're testing Spark versus Scourge, Gust versus Storm, Halo versus Corona, and all in the same conditions at the same range. Aphid versus Vortex. We're testing the uh, Magnum versus the Taran, right? We're also testing the Pinata versus Orkin, which by the way is the biggest gap in power light to medium. We have Pins versus Tulumbas, and we're testing our Ballast versus Ballista. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my analysis for balancing in general, and I'm also expecting Explaining to you guys and showing you some awesome gameplay from this bad boy right here. My most fun raven, really, or one of the most fun ravens, the Spark Scourge Raven. It's a beast! Such a hunter in free fall, and I'm showing you some insane gameplay with this at the end of this video. So let's go into the detailed test at the exact same conditions, okay? We have 100 meters distance to each target, and I have a split screen, as you see right here, firing at the exact same time. Spark versus Scourge, okay? And uh, the results of these further tests that are coming now will be surprising to you. Tell me, let me tell you. Alright? Did you example for, uh, expect the spark to be that good? Did you expect that the Scourge uh, has uh, is only basically 23% stronger than the spark is? Spark has done in the exact 12 same, same 12 seconds 9450 DPS and Scourge has done 11600 DPS, right? In the same seconds. That is uh, over the same time. Um, and that means 23% stronger Scourge, right? Uh, I expected Scourge to be mo to be more than 23% stronger. That's just me. But maybe, what do you th guys think? And this right here is probably going to be one of the biggest surprises to you guys right here, although some of you may already know. Let me tell you one thing before we keep going here and uh, analyze the results. We're having shotguns. Shotguns have a spread. They don't fire, they sh fire with a spread. And I, I purposely chose a target that is slim. The Komiho is a very slim figure. That means you do a little bit less damage against this Komiho at 100 meters range than you would against a fat ass Fury, right? A Fury is a huge target and you would hit it much better with a shotgun spread and you would do more damage. I purposely chose the small small Kamiho at 100 meters range because I feel like 100 meters is a realistic w value, right? You're not always in perfect shotgun point-blank range, but you're also trying not to be at 200 meters. You're trying to be somewhere in between. 100 meters is realistic in my opinion, and I chose a small target. Also for the Halo and Corona coming next, right? So we're having the exact same conditions. Gust versus Storm. Do you notice what I'm seeing? Do you see what I'm seeing, guys? This is surprising as hell. We have 20 seconds of firing. After these 20 seconds, Gust has done 173,000 damage, 8,650 DPS. Storm has done only 158,000 damage, or 59, with 7,944 DPS. That means the light version oh, is stronger. The light weapon is stronger than the medium rep weapon. The gust is stronger than the storm. What in the world is going on, Pixonic? Is that supposed to happen? I don't think so. And that's why you see so many gusts on pursuers and striders. Because gust is actually better than the storm. And the same thing is gonna happen with the halo. I'm telling you right now, the halo is going to be better than the corona. Let's have a look at the results. Also, 20 seconds of firing with the exact same level of equipment, all Mark II level 12 maxed with one damage module installed to the Raven. And, um, and we have also the same 100 meters range with the same enemy target. And um, yeah, so let's have a look at the results. After 20 seconds of firing, you see the HP on the uh, on the Komiho is a little bit higher. So the Gust has done tiny little bit more damage than the Halo did, uh, but the Halo can lock down and the Halo can bypass energy shields. And the Gust has done so minimal more damage than this Halo did, okay? And the Corona, once again, is uh, the Halo is 9% stronger than Corona is. What the heck? 
Did you expect this, guys? Guys, I, I, I'm, I'm really stumped about this. And I would like to hear you guys' thought in the video description, in the comments down below. We're having a lot of more tests coming now. But did you expect the Halo to be better than the Corona? Well, this is really surprising, man. And the Corona was really, really weak compared to 9% uh, stronger um, the Halo. Let's check out Vortex versus Aphid. In this one, it's relatively obvious. We have much more damage on the Vortex. But how much better is the Vortex in percent exactly? 43,000 damage with one hit. 4,300 DPS, obviously, since they reload 10 seconds. And um, Aphid has... 23,000, 24,000 damage. That means the Vortex is 80% stronger than the Aphid. Alright, so the Scourge was only 23% stronger than Spark. The Gust and Halo were actually better than their medium counterparts. And the Vortex, again, is 80% stronger than Aphid. Pixonic, where are you getting these values? How do you- why are you so inconsistent with the values and power from light to medium? I didn't expect these kinds of, you know, rifts in power uh, to ch from light to medium on different weapons, right? It's crazy. By the way, guys, if you like these kinds of tests, and it took me a huge time to make, Magnum vs. Tyrum now, then please also subscribe to the channel, guys, um, for more tests like that. I'm trying to go also from medium vs. heavy soon, and maybe also light to heavy at some point, right? Although I'm not looking forward to making these videos, man. It takes so long to do the split screen and record everything. And blah, blah, blah. So please, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, guys. Uh, <laughs> so let's take a look at Magnum vs. Tyrum. What do you think? I think, I'm, I'm guessing that most people will say that Tyran is going to be significantly much better than that Magnum is, right? Right? Let's have a look. The reason why you think that is because Tyran has burst damage. The Tyran has a higher burst damage output because it has a reload, right? After the reload, if we take a look at the Haichi now, the Taran is now finished firing with 8 salvos. The reload is now kicking in. Now we we already depleted this Haichi with 143,000 HP. Both Haichis are level 12, they have exactly the same amount of health. And um, 143,000. And the Taran is now firing finished and now has a reload. And it did a lot of damage compared to Magnum. But now the Taran will have to reload. This is the thing that you shall not forget. The Magnum keeps firing forever. And this is why the Taran is actually not that much better compared to the Magnum than you would think. Unless, of course, you want to kill only a Spectre. If you kill a Spectre, you don't have to reload between. That means you're going to kill the Spectre much faster. The Magnum took... For the 143,000 damage kill on the Haichi took 20 seconds, the Taran. That equals 7,150 DPS. And uh, the Magnum uh, took 25 seconds uh, for the same damage and 5,720 DPS. That means the Taran was actually only 25% stronger. And I guess, I'm guessing that most of you guys ch would, would, guess at, would have said at least 50%, right? It's not the case, 25% only. Yep, that's how the Taran is compared to the Magnum. So a four light weapons will outperform three medium weapons. Three medium Tarans are outperformed by four light weapons. <laughs> Did you expect that? I'm not sure. Anyways, here is the biggest rift. This here is the biggest difference. Pinata to Orkin was the biggest difference I could find in War Robots, and it proves what I've been showing to you guys all along. The, and it also saying the Pinata is so horrible. Like, the Gust is even better than Storm. And the Pinata is so horrible that it takes twice as long to kill the same 239,400 HP Natasha. The Orkans took 50 seconds and equals 4,800 DPS, including the initial load. It's important to keep in mind the initial full load of the Orkan is included in this DPS. The longer we would fire now without reloading fully in between, the lower the DPS would go because the initial load becomes less and less significant over a long period of time. So uh, with, the, with the full load, 4,800 DPS, something like that on Orkans, and the Pinata only 2,400 60, right? Uh, it's 97 seconds, twice as long. That means the Orkin is actually 94% stronger than the Pinata is. 94%! Gust was better than Storm. And this thing here is 90, the medium version here is suddenly 94% stronger than the light version. It's twice as strong. Let's have a look at pins versus Tolumbas. First off, checking out Tolumbas, the Spectre has 110,000 HP that I have right there. 
110,000 HP. And by the way, every Raven you see here runs one maxed damage module. But that's it, no booster, right? And uh, we had, hold on, we had, in 20 seconds, we did 55,000 damage from 110,000 HP. That is exactly 50% of the rate of the Spectre that we killed. And that equals 2,750 DPS. Now, the pins will do the same 20 seconds firing, okay? But it has less rockets stored in the clip. That's the first thing. So less initial load damage. And then also it reloads longer for each rocket with each rocket doing less damage. And that means it only does 1,800 DPS and only 36,000 damage in the same time where the Tolumba has done 55,000, okay? That means Tolumbas are 51% stronger. And in my opinion, that's exactly how it should be. I think 50% is exactly the right value. I think medium weapons should be 50% better than light weapons. That's exactly the right step up in my opinion, right? And, uh, and then the heavy weapons should be 50% better than the medium weapons. It's just so how I think, or maybe even 70% because we need to keep in mind that heavy weapons come in lower numbers. You have very rare amounts of heavy weapons, but you have very large amounts of medium and light weapons. Maybe this should also be included in the occasion, that uh, heavy weapons are very rare and should therefore do 70 or 80% more damage. That's That could be something we could talk about in the in the comment section of the video, right? Do you think um, the same 50% sh maybe should be also for heavy weapons? If if we take, if for example, we would take 50%, right? Uh, but I'm th I don't think that you could do this. I don't think you can just generally say, okay, light, medium, bomb, 50%. Medium, heavy, bomb, 60%. I don't think you can do this because weapons are so different in their f mechanics that you must change also. You must be very variable like Pixonic did here. But it's... It, what should not be done, in my opinion, is that the light version is stronger than the medium. That doesn't make any sense, in my opinion. Anyways, we have Ballista killing the 143,000 HP Haichi in 81 seconds with 1,760 DPS, which is, by the way, a really, really good amount of DPS for a 1,100 meter range weapon that bypasses energy shields and arrives instantly, pretty much. That's an insane amount, um, insanely good value. Ballista is so powerful, man. And our Ballist takes one. 125 seconds for the same kill. That means it does uh, 1,144 DPS. Ballista is also here, 54% stronger, right? That seems to be a, a good value, 54%. Uh, all right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into some detailed gameplay on the Spark uh, Scourge Raven. It's an absolute super beast. It is so incredibly powerful, and I show you in free fall what an insane hunter this thing is. In case you are wondering, the average damage increase from light to medium weapons in 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 average is 38 percent, right? All of those values combined and then divided by their amount. But of course, it's important to say that this value doesn't represent anything. These 36% or 38 doesn't really tell us much when we think that some weapons are, some medium weapons are like almost 100% better and some light weapons are sometimes better than their mediums. So this value of 38% is like almost worthless for us because the gap in some, some weapons being like that and some like that are so big that it's, it's, uh, it doesn't say anything. So, yeah. And uh, one more thing I want to speak about right here is, um, I, you know me, right? Uh, I speak about balancing whenever I feel like it. For example, I say that the last stand is an incredibly powerful module, in my opinion, overpowered, and it needs to be looked at. I think so, because uh, the difference it makes compared to someone who doesn't have last stand, like the guy with last stand, can play so much worse than the guy without last stand and the guy without last stand and the guy with last stand will still win skill becomes very insignificant when last stand is on one guy and the other doesn't have it it's almost impossible to beat the guy with last stand so there is such a large gap right there in such a massive difference that i say hey i think last stand is too powerful it makes too much of a difference in the gameplay and um 
So, and, and that's one of the things that I say, right? But I also speak about other things in balancing. For example, I speak about the Aries, right? And I'm uh, sometimes I'm upsetting some of you guys uh, with my with my statements. And uh, it's always important for you guys to know this is just one man's perspective. I'm not a developer. Not what what I say doesn't isn't happening. If what I say would be happening, the last stand would be a lot different. <laughs> I can tell you that much, guys. If my voice would count so much that you guys have to be afraid of, oh, he said it's too strong, now it's gonna be nerfed. If that was the case, then last stand would look way different. Tell, let me tell you this much, guys. Um, but it's actually not, not, not important. I just tell you guys what I feel. For example, I say that the Ares cooldown is, in my opinion, too short, right? 16, 16 seconds, 15, whatever. And you can bring it down with a booster. Um, for an ability that goes 8 seconds long, has 8 weapons firing at the same time, and makes you completely invincible. And then the robot is super fast. And I think that 15 seconds should be probably 18 or 20 seconds. And when I say these things, there, you guys often say to me that, um, or in the comments I read that very often, you say, hey, what do you know about balancing? You're running Mark II 12 stuff all the time. What do you know, right? How can why, why do you think you should be speaking about balancing uh, when you're running max thing? And I want to explain to you or tell you how I think. Um, I believe I argue the exact opposite. I argue and say that um, the very fact that I run the same level on everything it allows me exactly to do very well. Good, good, uh, you know, come. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, conclusions, right? To come to a really good conclusion about certain power. Um, if I was, for example, running Orkans always at level 9 and the Tyrants at level 12, then obviously I would get the feeling Tyrants is much better than Orkans, but I run everything at the exact same level and I believe this is exactly what allows me to make very good conclusions about balancing. To tell you that the Ares is in fact way more powerful than any other robot is currently in the game and that a cooldown increase would make sense, right? And um, and I think that the, the it's actually a pro or a good thing that I can test everything at the exact same level. This makes me able to make very good conclusions about balancing and get a good impression about this versus this, you know? Um, once again, also here, I really like to hear what you guys think about this uh, point, about my argument. Um, but I, I feel like this is a helpful element to it, to, to speak about balancing rather than being, um, uh, you know, bad in any way. Oh boy, this guy has a level 6 or 5 last stand, that's crazy. But I'm getting him now because the last stand is gone. Thank goodness. Do you see, by the way, how insanely powerful this uh, spark is and the, the scourge? You can grill enemies so fast with this. Why? Because, as we have learned in this video, scourge is only 23% stronger than spark. This doesn't mean Scourge is bad, this means that Spark is incredibly powerful, because we all know Scourge is a super powerful weapon. Um, and Spark is almost as powerful too. Let me show you how I absolutely annihilate this Ares. This Ares has just used its shield. I'm waiting to the last second and then jump again to land directly next to the guy and sit right inside his shield. We both having last stand, max level, and I'm running after him, staying inside his shield. If he activates the shield, he will still die. And I completely outplayed this Raven, uh, this this Ares right there. Skill matters, okay? So don't say skill is skill is completely, you know, doesn't matter at all in the game. I feel like it does matter, but where it doesn't matter as much as when one guy has last stand and the other doesn't. If I didn't have last stand in this situation, I would not have been able to kill this massive Ares power robot, this meta bot, um, with, with this uh, nice skillful maneuver and in jumping into his shield. I would not have been able to do this, even though I did a great job, but I would have simply died because of last stand on the enemy, right? Because I would have simply been unable to kill him in this time. And um, yeah, so <laughs> last stand, I'm hoping that there is going to be something reworked on it. And uh, since this is a video where we're talking about balancing and we're talking about values, I, exp I, I feel like this is, it's legit to say this here. Let's attack this guy who is uh, who is currently first. He's actually currently first, and he made most of his kills with this with this falcon and dragoons. 
this guy has almost all his robots fully maxed. He's got max level last stand on almost all the robots. It's, this guy is using, but pretty much he's using a battle rack account right there, and uh, and he he made most of his kills. Interestingly enough, with the Falcon and Dragoons, he's because it's a long range sniping map, and he's able to steal all the kills with the long range Dragoons, right? And, uh, and that's him again right there. Uh, last stand is now gone. I can finally kill the robot before he stealth jumps again. That's it. And I also killed his, his, his kill. And with the same robot, I kill him now for the third or fourth, fourth time. I killed his Falcon, I killed his Mercury, and now I'm gonna kill his Mercury again. With the same Strider, without healing it, and without having it respawned, right? Just to show him that, man, you may have last stand, you may have the meta bots, but I have a Strider. And the Strider is, by the way, also, in my opinion, a really good meta bot. He's activating his stealth too early. He wants to stealth jump now, but he's still locked down. That means he's gonna lose his jump, and he's gonna stay on the ground. And that's what made the difference here. So, guys, that was my light weapons versus medium weapons. I'm fooling around with him a little bit, and, and you know, just <laughs> provoking him a little bit to show him that, hey... Yeah, you uh, you didn't make it, unfortunately, dude. Um, but yeah, so, what do you think about the light versus medium weapons? And also, please consider uh, making a comment about um, about my my point that I made with the uh, balancing and testing everything at the same level. Do you not think that it's actually helpful uh, when speaking about balancing to have things all at the same level? Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I think like it is. Um, but yeah, so um, that's it. There's there might be a video coming with medium versus heavy heavy too but i may take a while for me to make that because it's so much work these videos with a split screen and video editing and holy moly so i hope you guys had some great fun watching this and uh thank you you guys excuse me uh for watching and if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for being with you guys awesome as always money gaming signing off bye bye